but yeah peak is here probably the others are here um when i saw that i audibly said what (laughs) yeah seriously all right guys again we are back with the next episode and the newest episode of attack on titan episode 12 was it now i think so yeah yeah um so as usual we're going to give our initial reactions first and then we'll get into some analysis later on but what did you think about the episode that was a very good episode um i thought it revealed a lot Mm -hmm. uh yeah got some more action um finally seeing what we've kind of been waiting to see uh, yeah. Aaron finally breaking out uh, showing that he isn't loyal to like the scouts at least um yeah I, I enjoyed it a lot yeah I agree I think it was a really good episode as you said lots of nice things going on and I think it's gonna be a precursor to I think what's gonna be a really good episode next week so with that said I mean I think there's so much to analyze this episode do you want to just get into it yeah, let's get into it. Yeah, so I think the first big thing in this episode and something that we've all been looking forward to for a while is we finally get to figure out whether or not Yelena did meet with Aaron and if she spoke to him. Um, we have this scene here with Pixis kind of interrogating her, not like too menacingly, but we find out that yes, she did go meet with him. Um, but what she says is that they didn't really talk about anything specifically, more so just the fact that uh, this whole thing was urgent and someone had to kind of light a spark and get this whole thing going. And, so she's basically telling Pixis, like, I didn't directly tell him anything. I just kind of told him we need to hurry. And if you go, then they'll follow. One thing to note about this, though, is that at the end of the scene, Pixis sort of says something to the effect of, like, yeah, maybe next time you lie, you should inject a little bit more truth into it. Um, right. So I think that, you know, what he's trying to say is that uh, she did tell some of the truth yeah she definitely met with Aaron and she probably did tell him that and maybe that was the main thing she told him but uh, I think what Pixis is implying here and what the audience is supposed to take away is that Yelena did in fact say more to pick uh, Aaron than just you know you gotta go yeah it seems yeah. like his way of saying like oh I know you're not telling me everything yeah um beyond that there's the reaction that Yelena has to Pixis sort of implying that she was manipulating Aaron. Um, what do you make of that? Yeah, it's weird that she had such a strong reaction. It seems like she kind of worships them, puts them on this pedestal. Otherwise, why would the idea of manipulating them be like so disgusting to her, I guess, mm-hmm. the way she reacted? I mean, it's a pretty intense reaction, I believe. Yeah, I think the next major event in this episode uh, is Premier Zachary getting his ass blasted out the window. We see his body flying straight out into the corridor or the main area here. And then all the people that have been riding in front of the building this whole time kind of start to revolt a little bit, all yelling, chanting, you know, Sasagio, Sasagio, all over. Yeah. And I think that this is a theme that's like gonna be important uh, and something that I think we've already seen, but what we see now is our main characters, Mikasa, Armin, Hanji, all of them, they are now in the position of sort of the antagonists of the last few seasons, right? They know more than the general public and they're keeping it away. And the general public is, is doing what it can to you know, reveal the truth and you know, save everyone. But they're kind of having to, to hold off on that. So it's really been a changing of roles and a changing of guards. Um, what I think this relates to is like the cycles of violence that have sort of been brought up this whole time. Um, I, I think that this is bringing into our attention the fact that like these things never stop, you know, once uh, these people, like if, you know, Aaron and them take over, then they're going to start doing shady things and someone else is going to come and someone else is going to come. Like as they're operating now, there will be no end to it. It's just a cycle. And so I think that like the ultimate resolution to this series is going to have to be like, how do we break this cycle? Or like else it just kind of keeps on continuing. Yeah, I think that actually that ties in very nicely to something. I think that Aaron said at the very last part of season three, where he's like, the enemies are across the sea. Now we know we have to fight. And then once they're defeated, I can have peace, basically. But we know now that that's not the case, you know? To think that, like, in season two, back when we know, like, that we don't really know much, and the fact that the Titans are, like, the main villain is what we think at the time, 
the fact I think now that there's been like so much like civil or not civil but inner bickering between like Mika Armin and Aaron even just the three of them the fact that that's happening just shows you that there's always going to be conflict and it's hard for you to break the cycle like you said so we get some more information some more things happen basically uh as we're about to find out Aaron has broken out of his cell uh we see here they're discussing premier zachary's bombing but the big thing is aaron's now out right this like super powerful guy um the chief of the military police has like been wary of the scouts like this entire time like he was even in season one you know hating on erwin um but yeah now we get the information and the most important thing I think in the scene is this little look right here that Mikasa and Armin get. And Mikasa specifically, honestly, because uh, if you could pause it, like, I think that Armin has sort of realized, as we saw in maybe the sound argument episode, that Aaron's kind of gone. There's a good chance that they're going to have to, you know, kill him, eat him, do something, right? But Mikasa is still holding on. And this look in her eyes, I think tells me that like she's this close to getting it. She's like, oh, she like almost gets it, but uh, maybe it'll take one or two more things. Yeah, there's even a scene I think a little bit later as they're in the car, where Mika's mm-hmm. like the same expression on her face, and Armin's trying to talk her down, saying like, "Oh, Mika, uh, like we like we'll talk to him, we'll see what's happening." And Mika's just like stagnant. She won't move. This scene right here. Yeah. Um, and then in true cult leader fashion, we see Aaron Yeager shirtless and with no shoes or socks on, walking barefoot to his followers. Um, all the people who have been secretly working with him, you know, we have Flock, and then we find out that there's people in the military that have been helping him as well escape. And his initial reaction, or his first thought is, let me get to Zeke, where is Zeke? So I think the next episode will maybe get at least some information as to why Aaron wants to meet up with Zeke so badly and what's going on yeah and um this is like super obvious but if you were confused about how Aaron broke out you can see the titan lines under his eyes um he he went warhammer zone assumedly uh Mm -hmm. and then yeah got out and we see that iconic scene that was in the trailer um it looks a little reanimated but um yeah he's out and he's ready he warned on you she said oh. yeah yeah honestly but i don't know there's nothing they could have done it seems um i think one of the final few things uh of note in this episode um not even something too crazy theory theory wise but it seems like something significant is going to happen uh with something yelena's planning we see hanji pretty worried throughout this whole episode and even here she said uh i hope that things aren't as bad as i'm thinking and we find out right there that yelena's been planting marley and people in a bunch of weird places like a restaurant so i think we're gonna find out soon that yelena's maybe planning something i don't know how heinous it is but it seems like it's gonna be a lot of damage caused by whatever she's thinking because yeah. they all did in a bunch of different places yeah uh before we see this reveal um <laughs> i think the, the thing that hanji's referring to is probably related to and just exactly the thing that happened in a sound argument where Niccolo was uh, like had that glass of wine and uh, was yeah gonna give it. It seemed like poison or serum or something. Uh, I assume that that's the same thing. Yeah, it seems it seems if we if it's what we thought it was in that episode and the fact that they're gonna be turned to titans. Are they just gonna be turning a bunch of people all over the city into titans and wreaking havoc? If Which so, would be truly fucked. Yeah. Um, and to compound that you know fuckery we have for real <laughs> here uh we find out that peak and probably the other uh warriors ryan and all of them are here in paradise so yeah uh these are which, a bit. this blew my mind come on peak is already here mm-hmm. already here oh my god like it's it's the over was tight like they must have immediately left or what i'm thinking is like maybe that episode 
wasn't exactly where we thought it was in the timeline. Um, yeah, I mean, it was like the morning after probably, yeah. um, which was, you know, probably a couple of days ago. Uh, but yeah, Peak is here. Probably yeah. the others are here. Um, yeah. When I saw that, I audibly said, what? <laughs> yeah, seriously. That was uh, pretty much everything for this episode, though. Um, there was a lot, a lot to chew on. And I'm excited for what's going to happen next episode. Yeah, I think next episode is going to be a really good one. But um, with that being said, we'll see you guys then once it comes out. Um, Like, subscribe, and then we'll catch you guys then.